Hi everybody and welcome back to another Napa STEM Academy science video. Today we're going to craft a superhero balloon rocket. We'll learn who physicists are, what thrust and propel mean, and even a little about Newton's third law of motion. Then we can use all that information to launch our own superheroes into the air. Let's get into it. Thrust is the act of pushing or driving forward with force. In our project today, the air released from the balloon is the force creating thrust. Propel is a synonym to the word thrust. It also means to cause to move forward, thrust, push, or drive. A physicist conducts research and develops theories on the basis of observation and experiments and creates methods to apply physical laws and theories. If you love STEM as much as we do, you may someday decide to become a physicist. How does a balloon rocket work? The force that pushes a rocket or aircraft through the air is known as thrust. In the experiment, you'll make a balloon rocket that is propelled by pressure. The escaping air exerts a force on the balloon itself. The balloon pushes back in a manner described in Newton's third law of motion. Isaac Newton was a very famous physicist who developed the principles of modern physics, including the laws of motion. His third law of motion states that for every action in nature, there's an equal and opposite reaction. We will see this science principle with our balloon rocket. When the force of the air releases from the balloon, the action, the balloon moves forward, the reaction. Now that we know all the information, let's try our hands at some physics. The materials you'll need for this one are a clothespin, a balloon, a straw, yarn long enough to stretch across the room, construction paper, some scissors, painter's tape, colored markers, and a cape sample drawing, which is the image on the screen. To start off, use the cape sample and draw a similar cape on your favorite color construction paper, then cut it out with scissors. Now using the colored markers, create your own superhero design logo and color it on your cape. Blow up a balloon and then clip the end with a clothespin to keep it temporarily sealed. Now, using the painter's tape, tape the straw onto the balloon. It's important that the straw runs in the direction of the balloon opening to the top of the balloon. Tape your superhero cape to the straw. The wavy bottom should be towards the opening of the balloon. Tie one end of the yarn to something solid on one side of your room. Now, run the yarn through the straw on your balloon rocket, bottom to top, and then tie the other end of the yarn to a higher spot across the room. You want the balloon rocket to be traveling upward. Now you can slide your balloon rocket to the starting point of your yarn and release the clothespin. Watch your superhero balloon rocket fly. Here's an extension activity. If you could be a part of a superhero team like the Avengers, what would your team be called? Make capes for your entire superhero team and take turns launching your superheroes to save the day. It's not just superheroes who wear capes. Did you know that kings and queens have also been known to wear them? In what other real life situations do you think you might see someone wearing a cape? We hope you had fun launching superheroes into the sky with physics. For accommodations and an extra extension activity, feel free to check out our lesson plan for today's video. We'll see you next week with another science video.